What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. So I'm standing in front of the Commodore, which means I am down at the bender with the boys at Talk Auto. They've been working on the car, so I've got some exciting updates. Now it's time for me to do some work on the car. So I'm gonna stop talking, we'll roll the intro and we'll get straight into the updates for the car. my way down to the vendor to work on the Commodore for the first time since I've dropped it off to the boys at Talk Auto. Now, I've said it before and I'll say it again, they are absolute legends down there. If you guys need anything done to your car, go down to the vendor, see the boys at Talk Auto and they will sort you out. So, they have already fixed my car, pretty much got everything ready to go. They're just waiting on me. So they're currently just waiting on me to go down and do some of the things that need to be done for the roadworthy because that stuff needs to be done ASAP so we can get the car roadworthy. So we also did find another issue when the boys were working on the car that it's gonna cost us a little bit of money but it's not gonna cost us as much as a new transmission which is good news but I'm not gonna tell you now because I need to concentrate on driving. There's something wrong with the tail shaft of the car that's all I'm gonna say there'll be more on it later on in the video but the issue is getting fixed and I need to get down to the vendor guys to fix the issues that need to be done for the roadworthy that way we can get it roadworthy give it back to Dylan and see if there's any more issues once the car actually has some decent heat through the V8 engine but just like that guys we'll get down to the vendor and we'll start fixing those roadworthy issues. <laughs> Just in the time that that took me to fill up the car, the legends at Tropical Windscreen and Tinting, shout out to those guys if you need anything done in Cairns, Innisfail and Tully, so they cover the whole north of Queensland, far north of Queensland. Tropical Windscreen and Tinting guys, shout out. They just removed and installed a brand new rear vision mirror in the time that took me to fill up the tank, which is crazy. So guys, anything you need done, shout out to Tropical Windscreen and Tinting, legends over there. Thank you very much. Alright, so one of the issues that we're having is with the... Windows. Now I need to get the windows down a little bit to start the tint. Start removing the tint. Why is this window switch not working? So I couldn't get the windows down, which is going to make this next task really hard, which is trying to get the window tent off the inside of these windows. So I've got my heat gun, drop a like, one like heat with one prayer, and hopefully I can get this off because I've got work tonight and today's kind of the deadline for this car. So. So Dylan came to check on how I was doing and he bought over this amazing product that his apprentice used when he removed tinting. It came in clutch and I really needed it to get off the bottom where I couldn't actually play with the window. So I learned a lot from the first window and it was time to move on to the second window and all I can say is I'm glad that my car only has two doors. Alright, welcome to behind the seats of the Commodore. Now this isn't somewhere you really want to be because it's a tight squeeze but I have to take the tinting off the back window now so I'm going to do that as quick as I can because there's an air compressor going off in the back room but I have work to do. Let's do it. Alright guys, so all of the window tinting is now off and I've thrown it in the rubbish so all I have to do now is try to get all the glue off the windows. You can see it's sort of like 
very sticky. So I'm going to quickly glue up the windows and then it is on to the next task. No, I didn't pee myself. I had um, this sitting in my lap and it leaked. Right guys, so the way that I'm going to get the windows clean is I've sprayed some Windex on there and I've got a razor blade and I'm just going to scrape it on a very slight angle and just scrape with the floor all the time. Blue comes off really, really nicely. All right, guys. So we've got all the window tinting off now, and we've removed all the glue, so the windows are looking slick. Next thing I need to do is get this little door lock back on. Okay. Alright, that is done now, so the next task that I have to do, I have to get in and I have to restitch the seat on both sides of the driver's seat. So I'm not an upholsterer, I'm not a seamstress, but I have some thread, I have a needle, and we're gonna see how I go. All right guys, now after quickly realizing that the needles I was using were way too thin for leather, and they were going through my thumb rather than the actual leather, I was trying to find anything and everything to use to protect my thumb. I quickly broke all the needles that I had in my possession so I decided that the best thing to do was just to put this project on hold and we'll get back to it tomorrow when I come back better equipped with thicker needles. And thumb protection because my thumb is still hurting days later. So there's been a bit of a hold being put on the seat being upholstered because I seem to have snapped the needle. The thread's just too small so it keeps on snapping. So I need to head into Babinda Town and go and have a look at the seamstress shop or whatever, the, the sewing shop, whatever it is. and. See if I can get a thicker needle. Okay, so before I do any of that going to town, I'm just going to get my head unit mounted properly and secured because it needs to be secured for the roadworthy. And at the moment, she just flops around all willy-nilly in there. So this is going to go in there, and then I'll put my trim back on and everything like that. So we're slowly ticking off those lists on the job, um, but it is taking a long time. So may have to even come back tomorrow but we'll see how we go guys fingers crossed I don't but let's keep going and stop vlogging I just need to keep going back on ready to go we got the rear vision mirror installed shout out to those boys again one of the other things that are broken on this car is the seatbelt won't actually retract so I'm gonna have to pull the seatbelt out there's rust which is really strange inside here my camera literally just died so I'm gonna take the seatbelt out take it home with me and uh, try pull it apart and just see if I can loop it all up so I don't have to order a new seatbelt because that would suck. Um, but after that, guys, that's basically all I have left to do here. So I'm going to get all that done and I'll talk to you in the car. All right, guys, so today is day two down at Talk Auto in Bubenda working on the one and only SS. Dano is here with me today. He's been a bit of a phone dog at the moment, but he's here. Ooh. We're going to be working on the headlights, going to get them restored. I got to stitch the seat, put some car seat covers on and reinstall the seatbelt that we fixed. And that's pretty much it. I think that's it for today. Yep. Yeah, and buddy. And then Dylan's <laughs> going to take the tail shaft out, get that sent down to Towsel to get fixed, and hopefully we might even get a look underneath the car while it's up on the hoist. But we're going to get started because we've got a lot of work to do and not much time. Damn it. like that. Seatbelt is installed, works freely, locks in, you beaut.
And they're not really bad, they're a bit bad, but... No, they're not, they're just that foggy from the eyes of too, but it's just yeah. mainly a bit... Lens peel here. It's hard to see on the camera. Yeah. I'll get rid of all that. So yesterday when I was putting some fuel in the car for Dylan, I snapped off the fuel cap. So I've just disassembled it all and I'm probably going to take it home with me and I'll probably try and like five glasses it together to see what I can do. But yeah, it just carries from the sun, so... Uh, so yeah. It wasn't charged for parts, so we should be able to do something with it. Just to blow it. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's yeah. good. Yeah. 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 One side very dodgily restitched. Just gotta stitch that other side. Shout out to anyone who does hand stitching on leather on the daily basis because it sucks. But I've gotta do the other side, then we'll whack some seat covers on to hide the stitching, and fingers crossed it should part for everybody. Alright guys, so we have just finished installing the seat covers to hide my dodgy stitching. So they're just a black leather looking seat cover. With some carbon fibre trim. Dano just broke the housing that I fixed yesterday, so he is currently super gluing that all back together. And then we are done, which means Dylan's going to take the car and he's going to put it up on the hoist and drop the tail shaft. But it also means we get to have a look underneath the car at all the work he's been doing. Yo! That's how a bush mechanic fixes his problems. Bit of super glue. I told it there for a bit yesterday. It's only temporary just to get it roadworthy, and once it's roadworthy, we'll get it back home and we'll do all this stuff properly. But this is just to get it roadworthy. A new rear vision rail, cross for a new sticker. Objects in mirror are losing. Side view mirrors. Let's just face it. This is VA. Yeah, buddy. I'm looking at. You know what I've just realised? Holden's been ripping people off for ages. Why? Because this is the same gear stick. Like, look at the coating underneath. That's the Onyx coating you get. Oh, it's the normal. You don't the get normal. the leather upgrade. And they just wrap it. Yo. And they're just wrapped in leather that comes off anyway. That's not even, yeah. I can assume you that this would be the same too. Yep. Yeah, you can see it under there. Arseholes. Oh, well, I fake carbon wrap. Carbon fiber wrapped them. <laughs> carbon fiber wrapped them when I had this car anyway, so. Oh, you mean that's fake? No. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a real carbon fiber steering wheel there, bro. <laughs> uh, it's definitely not just carbon fiber wrapped from Kmart. What you're about to see is the main problem of the car. We heard a clunking noise whenever we were shifting gears and it seemed to have been this. Now what you're looking at here, I'll pause the video, is the tail shaft. Now there's three bolts that attach the tail shaft to this housing which is rubber and the rubber is starting to perish so we need a new one of those anyway. But as you can see on your screen right now, there is a big snap or a big part of the bolt that is missing. So we have to disassemble the whole tail shaft send it down to Townsville and get this repaired. So we're actually gonna get new ends welded on each end of the tail shaft 
so this car should be just like brand new. While Dylan had the car up on the hoist, it was a perfect time to show you guys exactly what he had done. Now, anything he could take off sand and paint, he did that for us. So anything that you see is black, he has actually painted brand new for us. You'll see on your screen now some brand new shockies. Oh my God. Everything just looks new, amazing. Of course, there's dirt and dust under it because where we kept it was horrible. But the last thing left to do is get this tail shaft fixed and then the car should be ready for roadworthy. All right, guys. <laughs> so that is it for the video. We are going to wrap it up there. So all that, um, all that Dylan, <laughs> so all that Dylan needs to do now is pull out the tail shaft, which he's actually going to do right now. And he's going to get that sent to Townsville this afternoon or tomorrow and it should be back in about a week or two, and then they'll put that back in, and fingers crossed the car will go in for its roadworthy, yeah, which is very exciting because then we can register it, we can get it back on the road, and Dylan can actually take it for a good drive, get some heat into the engine and everything like that, and see what else is wrong with the car. Fingers crossed there's nothing too much because we've already spent a lot of money. <laughs> but just like that, guys, if you need anything done to your car, I can't stress this enough, Talk Auto in Babinda, they will sort you out. Best mechanics around, honestly, guys, they are legends. But just like that, guys, we'll see you in the next video. <laughs>